What's up guys, it's Case and I'm back on a KTA Madness for August, we've just started August, we're getting to the end of summer now, or maybe at the beginning because everyone's off on holiday right now. A few things I wanted to say, sorry about the uploads, there haven't been as many lately, uh, this is like my sixth attempt at making this video, uh, not just today, I've, I've kept it off a while, uh, and I just wanted to let you guys know what the hell is happening with the channel. Uh, with the channel, uh, it's been a while, I'm um, sorry the uploads haven't been as consistent as I like, but I've been working a lot lately and uh, earning that paper. <laughs> um, I earned enough last month to be able to buy one of these. It's an Xbox Elite controller, which I wanted to show off to you guys. Um, basically, with the controller, it's snazzy, you might, those are weird, right, on the back? I can find the case. Now, it comes in a nice little snazzy carry case with an Xbox logo on it, and it comes with attachments. You may not have seen this before. A lot of people say that this thing changes their gaming life. Uh, for me, I've not delved deep into professional gaming in a long time. Um, but as you can notice, there's a circular dial on here which you can take off, it's magnetic. And you can attach like an old school dashboard, uh, an old school D-pad, thing like that. Or you can have the radial one which I have on, which I prefer actually. I didn't think I would prefer the radial one. But it's actually just easier to get to what you want. Uh, you can also take the sticks off, like so. Uh, they're magnetic as well. And uh, you can add different ones. So there's one that's similar to the, the PlayStation 3. Uh, which is more rounded, uh, you can put that on there. They're also slightly elevated as well, so I don't know if you can tell there, look. Slightly elevated. Um, and there's also the same style as the ones that are already on it. But they're even more elevated. <laughs> so, it depends what you like. If you like to break your thumbs while you're playing, then go ahead. Um, but I just like the standards because I've actually, ever since the Xbox One came out, liked the controller quite a lot. Um, and then they added pedals as well. So what you can do now is you can add pedals to the back. So there you go, it's added four extra buttons to the controller uh, while you're playing. Um, so as an example, which I would explain, for example in Halo or Call of Duty, you press A to jump. And while you're, you're running around and you're shooting, you're looking around with this stick, you know, and to jump you have to press A, but if there's a guy to your right while you're jumping, you're going to get shot. And you can't do two things at once with your thumb. So, you know, why not relocate the jump button to one of the back pedals? That way, you can jump while without taking your thumb off the stick. It, that's mainly what I use it for. Um, also, I put the second one, the, the one on the other side, is reload, so I don't have to take my thumb off again. Some people would probably use grenade reload. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what other people's preferences are. Uh, with me, uh, yes, there are four buttons here uh, now. So what I usually do is I just take the top one off, put that one on that one, and then use it. I only have the extra two buttons. And then you can actually add two different uh, configurations as well, which is what this button does here. So you can basically switch it to two and then uh, have your other conf configura sw configuration switched on the fly. So if you've got different game modes you like to try. And then the last thing, those green bits on the bottom there are just the buttons that the, these uh, pedals press in. But these here are switches. Um, and what they actually do is, uh, when you're pressing the controller, the button goes all the way down. If you've got one of these uh, ex uh, on, it only goes halfway, look. I don't know if you can see the difference. That's for more of a, uh, a sensitivity when you're shooting. So if you put it on that stick, or the, uh, both sticks, you can zoom and shoot faster. The controller is mainly used for, for first person shooters. So a couple of months ago on some review sites, uh, new sites and game sites, there was a rumor going around, there was a listing for a domain website called the Assassin's Creed Collection.com. Um, a lot of people thought it was the original Assassin's Creed being remastered into next gen, which would be awesome. But no, um, it was actually for a magazine. A lot of people were happy about that. Um, I bought it. I don't know how much I'm paying for it. It's very unexplained. It's not very in-depth detail. But basically, there's a uh, you get a magazine each week uh, or month, I think. Uh, a magazine each month, and then uh, figurines. So this is the first one. Uh, this is all about RTI. Ibn Al Ahad. Um, just goes through who he is, uh, what the fuck he was doing in the games and the story, and like how the Hidden Blade works. The modern version of the Hidden Blade, which seems to be like a shock track, shock thing, is pretty cool. Uh, and then I got a little, uh, I can find him, I did drop him, a little figure as well. 
Uh, these are actually handcrafted. Um, they're, they're okay. For three quid, I guess. Um, the funny thing is, though, they're derpy. Because whoever paints the eyes is incredible. So that looks, uh, that's Altair. It looks pretty cool. Look at his eyes. They're so derpy. It's hilarious. Um, that's more the main reason why I'm buying them. I don't even know how much I'm paying. I don't think it's a lot. I think it's like four pounds a month, which isn't bad. So that came in the post along with the second magazine straight away. And I'm gonna unbox them or unwrap them now. I haven't actually looked at them yet. I haven't had time. Like I said, I've been busy. That's why my uploads haven't been great. So there's Alta um, SEO Auditor with his magazine. And that's here though, he's got his cape and everything. This one's a lot better than the other one. Uh, his eyes are derpy though. <laughs> that's Hayfem, he's okay. His eyes are still a bit, they're a bit close together. There you go. Uh, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Assassin's Creed collection, Hayfem Kenway from Assassin's Creed 3. It is official Ubisoft licensed merch, so. That's the thing. So they could be pretty cool if I find somewhere to put them. Maybe on my windowsill here. I don't know. Um, but that'd be pretty cool. I like those. So yeah, I don't know how much I'm paying. Because they, they didn't charge me for the third. They didn't charge me for Haven because I've subscribed to the whole lot. So I get all of it and I get a free magazine, which was the Haven one. Uh, that was this month. So who knows, um, next month's Jacob. So I'm sure that character will look derpy as well. I love them because they're derpy. I love derpy figures. They're fantastic. It's so funny. As for the videos and things, there was a giveaway uh, about three, maybe four weeks ago when I did the Nero video and I'm really sorry I didn't do another video and, and give out the, the names of the winners. The two people who won, uh, Liam Banks, uh, you've been on my channel for a while, uh, I've noticed. Uh, you give me a lot of uh, feedback, which is great. And Dead by Midnight, you've been there since the beginning as well, and you've given me a lot of feedback and some uh, good stuff as well. Trying to get more codes, so those codes will be on the way to you. Uh, if you'd like to contact me through the Facebook page or the Twitter, um, if you don't have any of those, then I'm sure you can send me in a, an inbox on YouTube somehow. I know they keep moving it around on how to do it, but I'm sure there'll be a way for you to contact me. Just send me a message, say hi, I won, and I'll send you a code for PlayStation uh, for Nero. For, so thanks to Storm in the Teacup and Sadesco for sending me that. They've also sent me a code to play Among the Sleep. Now, I originally wanted to do a Let's Play on this, but Sadesco have said they don't want to do a Let's Play because it, it would ruin uh, the story. There may be spoilers. So I'm going to have to do another preview video for that. Um, but I did get a free... Uh, well, I wouldn't say free, but uh, the guys, I don't know who made it, uh, a group called Bloober Team uh, sent me a code to play Layers of Fear. Now, they didn't detail any specifics of NDA or embargoes and stuff like that, assuming because the game's been out a while and I got a code a little late, but they had some left over. I don't, unfortunately, have any giveaways for it. I did! Okay, I did actually. So the guys at Bloober Team sent me two codes, one for myself to play the game and do a let's play, and uh, one for uh, you guys on the Xbox One. So I've got a code for the Xbox One version of Layers of Fear. Uh, for the people who want to win that, I'm going to be doing a let's play. I'm going to do the whole thing uh, wide open, bust it. It's going to be reaction cam, it's going to be horrific and scary, it's going to fuck my head apparently. Apparently it's a really good uh, horror, horror game. So I will detail the details on how to win the code in there as well. It, well, I'll, I'll detail the, the ways to win the code in in the Lays of Fear video, the first one. So look out for that, because uh, I've heard it's a fantastic game and I can't wait to play it. Uh, so look forward to Among the Sleep and uh, Layers of Fear coming up soon on the channel, as well as some more challenge accepted, which I love to do. And some, uh, I did the Resident Evil 7 demo as well, which was quite scary. So uh, when I get around to editing all those things, then uh, I hope you'll enjoy. So leave some feedback, let me know what you guys think. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. We fixed the new one, two to go. Yes, Kay! Oh! You fucking know it, that was so scary! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.